Hi, my friends. Have you ever wished you could create professional looking diagrams and workflows without spending hours on design like I do and have been for years? Well, I found an amazing AI tool that can do all the hard work for you. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use this powerful online whiteboarding tool with the fancy built in AI that can turn your text prompts into fully customizable diagrams and workflows. And by the end of the video, you'll know how to create sales funnels and workflows and more effortlessly, okay? Just like I'm doing now. Let's check it out. The tool I'm using is called Excaladraw. Say that three times fast, I know I can't, I can barely say it once, but it's a super cool whiteboarding tool. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you know I use TLDraw quite a lot. It's free and it's a great whiteboard tool. Guess what? Excaladraw looks really similar, all right? So we can do stuff like, hey, world, and you'll see a very similar little text thingy over here. It's on the left side instead of the right. Getting fancy. What I love after jumping into Excaladraw, though, today for the first time is that their menu is actually already set up with all these little shortcuts. So I, I doubt you can see it. And unfortunately, I'm unable to zoom in my screen super well here, but I'll try to do that in the video for you. But basically each of these is associated with a number on your keyboard. And so if I wanna switch to the square, don't type it, but once I'm out of there, I can hit two and now it's like ready to go. And if I hit four, it's gonna make a circle right? Or eight, I can start writing text. Okay, so I love that right out of the box, but that's not why you're here. All right, the reason that you're here is because instead of spending half an hour diagramming out a sales funnel or workflow automation for your email follow-ups or whatever, with Excaladraw, we don't have to do that anymore. All right, so let me just erase all this stuff. Their eraser works pretty good too, I kind of like it. And all we do is just jump up here to the very top into this little AI thing. Everything is super tiny, I need to like get out my glasses so I can see it, but. All right, so we go to AI and then in here under generate is a text to diagram, okay? Now, here's the thing that you should understand is you'll get best results. And what they mean by best results is like a diagram you can actually edit if you're asking for it to create a diagram, a workflow, a flow chart, or that kind of thing, okay? Like a project. So earlier when I was messing around with this, I asked for a mind map. And so what it gave me is an image, which was fine, but it's not editable. So just know that when you're using the prompt here to ask for a diagram, a workflow, a flow chart, something like that. And I'll show you why in just a second, okay? All right, so I've written something in here. Let's create a sales funnel that has one upsell after the purchase and we want a series of follow-ups for abandoned cart. Okay, generate. Now it's gonna spin, it's gonna think about it for just a minute and then it's gonna create an image. So now we just hit the insert button here and Wow, okay, so we've got something that's fairly complex here, but let's look. How do I zoom in here? I think it's plus, yeah, okay. Okay, so visitor, that's cool. Now it's all in black and white now. The thing that I love about this is because I asked for um, a diagram, this is totally editable. So I can, tech, I can uh, edit the text and stuff like that. I'm kind of a, a geek about this stuff, but like, you know, certain things in my workflows have to be certain colors so that I can see very easily where my pages are, all right? So let's see, this is a supposed, this is supposed to be a sales funnel, adds to cart. I don't like the fact that it doesn't have the pages. So I think what we're gonna do here is I am going to reset the canvas, okay? Let's try again. Earlier when I was messing around with this, it did work pretty good. So let's create a sales funnel that has one. Okay, let's just be explicit. I want to see each page in the funnel. Well, let's just say that. Okay, hit go. 
Let it do its magic. Okay, let's see if this is any better. Looks like it will be. Okay, let me just zoom in here. Cart page. Okay, checkout page, product page, perfect. Okay, so what I like to do on these is just color code them so that I know every place, for example, when I'm building out funnels or workflows or that kind of thing, like this is kind of my checklist. Each page that I need to create, right, is here. Now, in this case, like I would not have a thank you page, right? We would just, we would go straight to the upsell page, right? Like there's no sense in having a thank you page in between an upsell and a purchase. So that's good. Upsell thank you page, main thank you page. Now, probably what we would do is just one thank you page here. Okay, so this is not, I'm sorry guys, I don't mean to drag this on too much here, but this is super nice, right? Like, so instead of me drawing this all out, I can basically just type in a prompt that describes what I want to do. I may have to go back and edit it like I just did, but that's how we work with AI, right? Like you're used to that, okay? And so, and so am I. I mean, this is this is like what we do. All right, so I can color code my emails here. I know I need to write three, probably more emails. All right, but we've got all of our decisions and everything here, and it's really nice. Okay, so I like this. Landing page, product page. Now, okay, once again, like, we wouldn't convolute the process like that. The landing page is, is the sales page, right? So, okay, excellent. What do you think? I think that's pretty cool, right? So that was easy too. So let's try a different one. Let's create a series of emails. Boom. Let's see what this looks like. This is all brand new. You're, you're watching, I'm, I'm writing these just off the top of my head. Okay, so I didn't didn't clear the canvas. Now I will tell you in just a second here about the plus Excaladra Plus, where you can actually have like different canvases. Okay, insert pages. Excaladra is very similar uh, workflow and everything in that respect. But the Plus plan, which I'll talk about in just a second, because it's a super duper deal, is it allows you to kind of work with different canvases. So that's cool. All right, so. Send email one. All right, so this is going to be just email one, right? And we don't really need that in between. Okay, so we'll start with email one and then we'll make our decision, right? But this is really nice. Like this helps me kind of see everything visually and you know, you may think, oh, like, do you really need to see that? Yeah, actually, I mean, the workflows I build inside of high level and stuff use this kind of concept to map everything out. And so it really does help me to have a plan that I'm executing and just following through versus sort of trying to linearly start at the beginning and just think through everything while I'm making it. So uh, that is why we do that. So Listen, I talked about the plus plan for Excaladra, and I just want to show it to you. It's $7 a month, so really reasonable. This is where you get the unlimited scenes and folders, and so it just basically helps you organize everything, okay? So whereas right now I've kind of got a infinite canvas here, and I can just keep drawing stuff down and over to the right and stuff like that, the plus plan allows you to sort of page this stuff out and have folders and organize things a little bit better. And the other big benefit of it is, I guess it has an extended AI. I don't really have a good sense for what more of that adds, but I would have to check it out. But it does allow you to collaborate as well. So like if you're in a team, you know, working with a, an assistant or something like that, then you guys can both be on the same drawing and in real time sort of work through different stuff. So I don't know, really reasonably priced, I think. I like the free version. I just like to map this stuff out. I'm not really interested in making an archive of everything. I will say, guys, 
Excalibur really has blown my mind. I, I like it. I think that it's something I'll probably think about using instead of TL Draw, which is what I've been using. And there you go. So, hey, if you liked this video, would you please hit the like button if you haven't already? And if you're not a subscriber, man, what are you doing? Please hit the subscribe button and join me. I've got some more good stuff coming, and I've got a lot of good stuff in the channel that you can check out. So we'd love to have you on board. All right. I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video. Oh, and don't forget, there's going to be some videos around here. Check those out because, yeah, it's good stuff. All right. Bye.